fuel off, fuel on. This is marked backwards, so that's actually choke off, choke on, throttle, key. Okay, a couple things to look at here. Control is as marked, up and down. One big issue is if you go down too much, you end up getting slack on that cable. If you get slack on the cable, it bunches up up there. And you get yourself a rat's nest, you gotta deal with it. You're gonna need two pipe wrenches. One, two, uh, uh, two pipe wrenches to break loose the, the pipe when you're adding and subtracting pipe. The Reversing control is not stock, didn't have anything on there. So we have <clears throat> forward and reverse, otherwise the way this thing was originally built, the pump powered the uh, motor all the time and it continually ran. There was no way to stop the motor from, from turning. And with the motor turning constantly, what you end up with is when the bit seizes in the ground, you're stuck because you can't run the motor because a bit won't turn. You can't pull a bit out because it's stuck in the mud and you can't reverse it. You can't do anything. So uh, you end up just being totally screwed. So now that it has a neutral and a forward and reverse, it gives you the latitude to continue to run the engine while you're extracting the bit. The other thing that wasn't stock is the filter. They had no filter on it. None of these hoses were stock. They are all added by us. Um, bracketry we manufactured the hose routing we came up with just gives you a nice clean routing a little ho protector up there to, to stop the hose from kinking as it's going up and down the winch cable the power lead for the winch originally was uh, just had a stock controls with about five feet of wire and the wire wasn't long enough to uh, run the controls. The controls actually would hang halfway between the winch and the battery, causing the battery to hang in midair. I don't know how they expected that to work, but it didn't. There was no battery with it. We put a battery on it, uh, mounted the battery in a battery box so it's secure. I checked the engine that it produces voltage to charge the battery, and it does. Uh, engine is electric start. That all operates fine. Um, so it pretty much is complete and operable now. There's no issues with it. The sw swivel that you have is better than our swivel. Um, a couple of the other issues is that uh, they had uh, there was no provision for disconnecting the hose from the mast. This is a quick disconnect, so all you have to do is disconnect this here, fold the mast down, and move it forward or back to uh, um, be able to transport it especially in shipping. The way it's packed together right now, all you'll have to do is take the mast, bring in it, bring it up to these two bolts, this one and this one, line it up, put the bolts in, and secure it. They had no way, this is the stops that I put in there so that the mast wouldn't go back too far because it was tilting back so far that it would bust the pump off as it went back. So that's corrected now. Those stops cause it, allow it to back up just far enough to um, get a counterbalance on it and tilt back. So there's no stops, there's no reversing, hoses didn't fit, they're all uh, uh, too short, poor routing. The cable on the winch was too short, poor routing. None of these holes were drilled for the wheels to be able to um, mount the axle. So essentially there was no way you would have ever gotten it together when you had it down in the Amazon. Right now, um, this is put together, it's uh, pretty well done. I mean the design's good, the execution that they came up with was poor. Um, so I think that you'll have success in drilling holes. We're going to ship all the pipe in the box. There's 170 feet of pipe there and uh, the trash pump came and that'll all be in the box. So good luck.